Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and in this video we're going to go through the steps to a clean installation of the uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. For those who are not familiar, a clean installation simply means erasing everything on your device and starting fresh with a new installation of Windows 10. Uh, because uh, doing a clean installation you will be deleting the, the operating system, apps, settings and files. It is always recommended to do a full backup before proceeding. Um, I'll be leaving a link with a video on the comments below uh, so you can uh, do a full backup of Windows 10 and you can continue doing the uh, uh, clean installation of the uh, Windows 10 Creators Update. Uh, for this guy, I'll be using the uh, media creation tool from Microsoft uh, to make a bootable uh, media to install the, um, uh, the new version of Windows 10. So, and to get that uh, media creation tool, you need to go to the uh, Microsoft support website. I will also be leaving this link on the, uh, on the comments below, on the description of the video. And once you're here, you just need to click the uh, download now button to get the, um, uh, the media creation tool. And once you download that, you will get the uh, media creation uh, to the exe file and you simply need to double click that to launch the, the tool. Click yes. Now we're just going to click accept. Now we're going to select the option to uh, create an installation media uh, for another PC and click next. Now the, um, the tool actually detects uh, exactly the uh, version you need but if you're creating um, a bootable media uh, to install on another PC you can uncheck this box and select the uh, version the edition of Windows 10 and language and architecture if you need to uh, you can even uh, choose both I'm just going to leave the defaults and I'm going to click next now, uh, here we're going to be creating a USB bootable media, so we're just going to leave the default USB flash drive, and you're going to need at least a USB flash drive um, with uh, four gigabytes in size uh, as a minimum, that's a minimum requirement. And basically now we're just gonna click next and select the, uh, the drive the USB drive and once you click next that USB drive is going to uh, get erased so make sure to uh, make a backup if you have any files on that drive. I'm gonna click next now the media creation tool is going to proceed to create the, um, uh, the bootable media uh, when it's complete, make sure your computer can boot from the uh, USB and then restart your computer to start the uh, clean installation process. Uh, usually to boot from a USB drive, you will need to change your uh, BIOS settings on your device, which is different uh, per manufacturer. So you have to make sure to check uh, your manufacturer uh, support website to see how to do this. But usually you should put your computer and you will have to uh, hit the uh, F1, F2, F3, F10 or 12 or even escape or the delete key to access the BIOS and make sure to uh, change the boot order so you can boot from the, uh, from the USB drive. Now I'm just going to pause the video to let the uh, uh, media creation tool to complete the process and I'm going to start with the um, uh, with the clean installation of uh, Windows 10 with the uh, Creators Update. So now I started my computer with the um, uh, USB bootable media and now I'm the uh, Windows uh, setup. And now we're going to click next. And I'm going to click install now. If you already had uh, Windows 10 already installed on your computer and it was activated you can click the um, I don't have a, a product key and Windows 10 will automatically uh, activate after you do the install even though you're going to be doing um, 
uh, clean installation of the operating system. If this is a brand new installation, you will need to supply uh, the product key or you have to make sure that after installation you that you have the product key to activate the, uh, uh, the product. So now I'm just going to click the uh, I don't have the product key. In this case, I'm going to uh, choose the uh, Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 Pro and now I'm going to click next. I'm going to check the uh, accept the license terms and click next. And here we're going to be choosing the um, uh, custom to do a clean installation of the operating system. In this section you're going to select the drive that you want to install uh, Windows 10. If your computer already had a uh, installation of Windows uh, you want to select the, the partitions and hit delete to erase all the partitions to have one uh, unallocated space and then we're just going to click next to start the um, uh, the installation process uh, but make sure to understand that once you delete the uh, the volumes and you click next all the data inside of that hard drive on your computer will be erased I'm going to click next Windows 10 is going to install on your computer I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back when we are on the um, AutoBox experience so we can complete the uh, installation of uh, Windows 10 with the uh, Kratos update. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, Press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Starting with the uh, Windows 10 Creators update, now we get a new out-of-box experience, uh, which now also features Cortana. So uh, Microsoft is doing this to help uh, everyone, uh, no matter the uh, technical level, so they can actually uh, complete the uh, installation of uh, Windows 10. Uh, so now let's just go through the uh, process to finalize the insta uh, this installation. Right now I'm going to select my region, uh, United States, and I'm going to click Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now I'm going to click the uh, Escape button. All right, you're connected. Now we'll check for any updates. Will you be signing into this PC using a personal account or one from your work or school? On this case, I'm going to click the uh, uh, setup for personal use. And I'm going to click next. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. So now I'm going to enter my email account. Notice that you can also click the uh, create account link to create a new Microsoft account if you don't have one and if you want to create a, a local account without using a Microsoft account you can click the uh, uh, offline account link uh, to create that account but um, uh, most people now they're going to be using a Microsoft account so now I'm just typing my email address and I'm going to click next now I'm just going to type my password and I'm going to click next. Want to set up a pin? It gives you stronger security than a password. I'm going to click the uh, do this later. I don't use a pin. But you can set up if you want to. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? 
Notice that there is also an option to enable the Hey Cortana uh, feature right here. If, some, if that's something that you want, uh, you can just check that box. And then we're just going to click Next. Actually, we're going to click Yes. So this is the uh, new updated privacy settings. In the past, we had a uh, two options to complete installing Windows 10, uh, which included the uh, Express or Custom uh, uh, options. But now those ha uh, have been removed. And now we get now this one page to configure uh, your privacy settings. And as you can see, we get um, a few toggle switches that you can enable and disable. So we have privacy settings for location, diagnostics, uh, relevant ads, speech recognition, and tailor experience with diagnostic data. Uh, you can turn the uh, on and off as you, as you like. And as you turn them off, you also see a description of what's going to happen if you turn that feature off. Because if you don't have it enabled, some features on Windows 10 may not work correctly. So make sure you review those before you um, uh, click the uh, accept button. Uh, for this, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave them all on and I'm going to uh, click accept. Voice mode on. We need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Now the um, the setup is going to complete the installation, and we're gonna be back into the desktop. Okay, so um, now we're back into the desktop. Uh, the last thing uh, left to do now is to uh, reinstall all your apps and make sure to restore your uh, data from backup. And uh, you you may also want to uh, go to uh, to open the settings up and go to update and security and make sure to check for updates to make sure that everything is up to date. So that's how you um, do a clean installation of the uh, Windows 10 uh, Creators update. Uh, remember to like the video, uh, share it, and leave your comments. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.